Where are Meghan Markle and Archie Harrison? Meghan Markle has been in the United States alongside her family since leaving royal family life in 2020, but now her husband Prince Harry has returned to the UK, but where is the Duchess of Sussex and her son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have spent more than 12 months with their son in the United States. The Duchess of Sussex has not been seen in public since she and her husband Harry undertook an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. Prince Philip died a month after the interview aired and now the Duke of Sussex saw his family for the first time since that interview on April 17. Prince Philip's funeral took place on April 17 at St George's Chapel. The Duke of Edinburgh had a ceremonial funeral with bands and a military escort, but only 30 mourners were allowed to attend the service due to coronavirus restrictions. The guest list for the funeral included the Queen, the Duke's children and grandchildren, the spouses of Prince Philip's children and grandchildren, Prince Richard, Princess Alexandra, Prince Edward Duke of Kent, Prince Bernard, Prince Donatus, Prince Philip, David Armstrong Jones, Lady Mountbatten, Lady Sarah Chatto, and Daniel Chatto. In addition to the 30 mourners, the Dean of Windsor David Connor conducted the funeral service and four singers will sing pieces of music chosen by the Duke. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, who married the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in the same chapel, gave the blessing. Prince Harry returned to the UK on April 12 to undertake a required period of self-isolation at Frogmore Cottage. Upon his return to Britain, he released a personal tribute to his grandfather. In the statement, he reflected on the Duke of Edinburgh touching on his impact on the world and his own family. He said, you will be sorely missed, but always remembered, by the nation and the world. Meghan, Archie, and I, as well as your future great-granddaughter, will always hold a special place for you in our hearts. The Duke of Sussex was required to quarantine for five days. He also had to undergo a second Covid test in accordance with government guidance before he could meet his family. Harry is staying just a short distance from Windsor Castle and attend the funeral on Saturday. His wife, Meghan, was entitled to attend the event, but she did not attend the ceremony on April 17. Where are Meghan Markle and Archie Harrison? The Duchess of Sussex is expecting the couple's second child. She and the couple's first child, Archie Harrison, are currently at their home in Santa Barbara in California, where they have been for the last 12 months. The Sussex couple revealed they were expecting a child on February 14 and revealed their daughter is due in the summertime during an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. Last weekend, a Buckingham Palace spokesperson said the Duchess of Sussex had made every effort to join her husband and return to the UK for the funeral. However, she had not received medical clearance from her doctors saying she could safely travel abroad. Meghan, aged 39, is considered to be a high-risk pregnancy, due to her age and therefore travel during the later stages of pregnancy has been advised against. A royal source said the Sussexes were in contact with the Queen in the wake of the Duke of Edinburgh's death. The insider told People, it was always a given that Harry would return to England for his grandfather's passing. Meghan expressed condolences. The Queen understands why she can't travel at the moment. Meghan is expected to join the private live stream arranged by Buckingham Palace for those close to the Duke who cannot attend the funeral. The special live stream will reportedly include the same live coverage airing on the BBC, ITV and other broadcasters. However, it will not include commentary and punditry which will feature on these news channels. The Duchess of Sussex is expected to receive these login details to join the virtual event from LA at 8 a.m. local time, 3 p.m. GMT.